Hello everyone, so once again I welcome you all to the lecture series of environment and road safety awareness. So after listening to the introductory lecture, some students inquire that why do we need to study environment? It is not related to our subject. It is just a cup of tea for science people. But no, this is not so. So the answers to all these questions shall be told in detail in today's video. Myself, Lamit Kaur Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Botany and Environment Science, Mata Bushri College, Fatibar Sahib. Uh, so dear students, environment studies are having a multidisciplinary nature. Uh, for example, if we talk about ethics, so ethically, whatever is right or wrong, whenever we do some action, the inner voice always tell us what is ethically right or wrong. If I cut a tree, that is ethically wrong. If we uh, create pollution or throw the waste here and there, that is ethically wrong. So if we grow a plant, we know that it is ethically good. So ethics is also having the relation with environment studies. Similarly, ecology, if I talk about ecology, is the branch that is dedicated to environment studies. So no doubt it is having direct effect or impact on environment studies or it is directly related to environment studies. If I talk about biology, uh, both botany and zoology are, the, are important or the understanding of botany and zoology is important to understand environment impact on plants as well as uh, you can say animals. Similarly, knowledge of chemistry is required uh, to know the various chemical reactions that are happening so in, in, in the environment or to study the impact of certain pollutants uh, on the environment. So similarly, atmospheric science, oceanography, geology, that is the earth sciences, anthropology, archaeology, each and every subject is having its relevance in environment studies. So environment studies, it requires skills that encompass a range of disciplines, including chemistry, biology, earth sciences, atmospheric sciences, stats, maths, and geography. Uh, to explain this uh, in a better way, I'll take a simple example. For example, if I take a simple topic from environment that is air pollution, we can uh, assess the impact of various subjects on the study of this very topic. That is why we require the knowledge of these very subjects to study the topic of air pollution. So here I am trying to justify the question that is most oftenly asked by the students, what we need to do with environment, like it is uh, just meant for science students or all. No, it is meant for each and every discipline, each and every subject. So my dear students, if I need to study the topic air pollution, the knowledge of chemistry and chemical engineering is required to study the nature and reaction of air pollutants. Similarly, knowledge of botany is required if I want to know the impact of air pollutants on plants. In the same way, zoology is required if I want to study the impact of pollutants on animals. Similarly, to study the impact or effect of air pollutants on materials, uh, knowledge of physics or chemistry is required. Same way, meteorology, thermodynamics, geography, mathematical modeling, etc. are required to have a better understanding of the effect of climate on air pollution. Similarly, physics, chemistry and various branches of engineering help us in studying uh, the control devices for air pollution. Similarly, history of air pollution and air pollution episodes can be better understood if we have a knowledge of history. Uh, on the same pattern, economics and demography, uh, the knowledge of these subjects is required to study the economic impact of air pollution. Similarly, uh, knowledge of sociology helps us in understanding the sociological impact of air pollution. And to know about the alternative fuels that can be used, Various branches of physical sciences help us. Even the botanical sciences, they help us in understanding the alternative fuels. And uh, to have the knowledge of conservation of resources and pollution control, various branches of physical and political sciences can help us. 
and almost all the fields of study under the sun has got something to contribute to the understanding and prevention of ozone hole and global warming. So here we can understand that each and every subject, the knowledge of each and every subject is relevant to study environment studies effectively. So uh, we can say that environment is necessary for all the students or we can say the knowledge of all the subjects is necessary to study environment. So here uh, this justifies the interdisciplinary nature of environment studies. Next coming to the need of public awareness. Now if we say what is the need uh, to make the public aware about the environmental issues. So as we have already discussed in the last video that environment has been deteriorated to much extent. The earth's resources are dwindling and our environment is being increasingly degraded by human activities and hence something needs to be done. Government alone cannot perform all the cleanup functions and it is our moral duty, our ethical duty and only and only if we have the knowledge of environment science and we are aware of the various environmental issues and the need to conserve environment, only then can we contribute towards the cause of environment. So here uh, there is a need of public awareness. Similarly, individual group efforts in their own Every possible way has to be made to protect our environment and mass public awareness through newspapers, radios, television strongly influences public opinion on conserving our environment. So my dear students, uh, so we can conclude that there is a dire need to protect our environment before it is too late. So I'd rather uh, say that it, the point might have got very much clear that why each and every subject is related to environment and why you all need to study environment and why we need to spread public awareness. In fact, it becomes a moral duty, the moral duty of the educated people to spread awareness among the public so that we can save our environment. So, my dear students, this was all about the multidisciplinary nature of environment studies and the need of public awareness. In the next video, we will be discussing module number two that is natural resources. Till then, take care. See you in the next video.